How you doing? Homestead Ed here. Today, I'm going to play around a little bit with some amateur radio equipment. About a year ago, I got my amateur radio license. I'm a technician, a technician's class. That's the lowest license you could get. Um, but I took the test, I got the license, and the whole reason I got it was because I wanted a way to communicate between the homestead in Pennsylvania and here on Long Island. So I took the test, it wasn't that hard, and I started out with this little Baofeng radio. They call this a handy talkie. These are very cool, um, but it's not like you think, or at least like I thought. I thought you get the license, uh, you get the license, you buy yourself a radio, and you could contact anywhere in the world with these things. You can do it, but you can't necessarily do it on one of these, and you can't necessarily do it with a technician's class license. Um, it's much more involved than that. But what I found since I've been getting into this a little bit more is it's a fantastic hobby. And um, I've been having a lot of fun. I set up, I went from this, which I still use, this is fantastic, but I went from this to setting up another two meter rig, gives me a little more power. This is a mobile unit. I put it in a 50 cal ammo box so I could carry it back, from, back and forth from here to the homestead in PA. And um, I mounted an antenna on the roof here and an antenna there. The antenna there I have on a mast, like a big pole sticking up in the air. And with this, with an external antenna, I can go maybe 25 miles. Uh, you, with two meters you mainly use repeaters. So I could go like 25 miles, hit a repeater. So maybe I could get like a 50 mile contact. Um, I talked with a lot of people. They told me there's ways on two meters that you can, can get between here and PA, um, but it's really it's really involved. So rather than doing that, the next step is to go to what they call HF, high frequency. This is UHF, this stuff. Um, and I talked with a friend of mine in PA on the radio and asked him if he knew anybody selling a 10 meter rig. And he found the guy who sold me this. I got it for 50 bucks. It's a mobile 10 meter rig. It was missing the mic. I found the mic on eBay um, for 13 bucks and I bought a power supply for it which cost me about 58. So I have invested into this let's say $120 so far. It looks like it's going to be really good and with 10 meters if the conditions are right you could, you, you could contact people in Europe all over the world. What I'm looking for is a nice way to get between here and PA, but this gives, lets me, with the type of license I have, gives me the opportunity to make those contacts at certain times of the year and see if I can make a steady way of communications back and forth. And I haven't invested a lot of money, but I don't have an antenna yet for it. What I intend to do is uh, the same friend who found this antenna for me says he had, uh, found this rig for me says he has an antenna, an 11 meter antenna that we could very easily tune to work on 10 meters um, and I intend to install that at the house in PA. Here on Long Island I'm going to put what's called a dipole antenna. It's basically two strands of wire, a ballast with two strands of wire coming at, off of it. I'm going to mount that either outside or maybe even up in the attic. But for now, I want to test this out. I'm itching to test this out. So I figure I'm going to scrounge around the house here, see if I can find some stuff to put together a, ten, a little 10 meter antenna that I could just sit here on the dining room table and try this out, play around a bit. So that's what we're up to now. Well, mounted here to the motorcycle is a a 10 meter fire stick. It's a CB antenna. They're using it as a radio antenna. Um, I really haven't used the motorcycle in years and there's no CB in it so I could always stick a regular antenna in there too. I'm gonna leave the bracket on there. I'm gonna pull that off 
and make some kind of a ground plane for the bottom of it to mount to. And that'll give me a shot at trying out my uh, new 10 meter rig. So I got the courage to go into this messy old garage of mine looking for a ground plane. Every few years I clean out this, I'll spend the weekend cleaning out this garage and I'll get it where you could walk in here, I can pull the trailer in and out, and within six months or a year it's back looking like this. But my mission is to find the ground plane and I think I did it. If you look over there on top of that gas can, you see that piece of metal? That's a chimney cap um, for this chimenera I have at the homestead in PA. And the chimney rusted away. I kept the cap so I could repair it or whatever. But it's been sitting here in the garage. And I think that's what I'm going to use to make my ground plane for this 10 meter antenna. So I did pretty good scrounging around. The real key, what really helped me out was finding this fire stick attached to the motorcycle. They were using this as a FM antenna. This is really a, a CB antenna. CB is 10 meters, so this is absolutely perfect. Made my life so much easier. And attached to it, the cable was there, which hooked into the radio with a 239 connector, which is the same type of connector that I need to hook right into the back of my 10 meter rig. That really worked out great. I've got these pieces of plastic, those are isolation units to, to keep the ground plane and the antenna separated. So th this connection is going to go just the way it is. This, I'm going to strip this back, make this little piece a little longer, and that's going to go to my ground plane. I really have everything I need. Um, just basically so you have a bit of an idea of what happens when you send out uh, radio signal. Well, if I want to receive a radio signal, I'm doing that with my antenna. And that would be fine. But when I transmit a signal, what happens, radio signals kind of go like this. You know, back and forth like this. So when I transmit a signal from this, it's going to come out of my antenna and it's going to go, and if I don't have what's called the ground plane, it's going to go into the earth. So you want some way to reflect that signal back up and send it back up into the, into the air. Um, is this the perfect ground plane? No way. But is it going to work? I think so. Let me put some stuff together and I'll show you how it's going. Well, I've got the antenna built. Here we go. I'm pretty happy with it. I just hooked it up to the radio and I'm tuning around a little bit. Now, I still have to learn a lot more about how to use this radio, but I just put it on. I'm limited into the, the channels, the frequencies that I'm allowed to use. I can go between 28, 300 and 28, 500 on here. So I put it on scan and um, I came in, let's see if we got it still. Okay, I got some noise coming in there. And I gotta really learn how to play around with this and pick it up. I was picking up some kind of, um, let me shut this down. I was picking up some kind of, it sounded like a data transmission. Uh, not CQ, not Morse code, but like data coming over there before. Haven't picked up any voice yet, but I can definitely see that it's working somewhat. Um, we're having a ham fest at my radio club next week, uh, in two weeks. So I'll bring this down and have some guys check it out and see what they think. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.